Hi, my name is Malia Wong. I'm a student at Claremont McKenna College. I'll be discussing Proposition 12, an initiative to impose new requirements on farmers to provide more space for farm animals. 10 years ago, California voters passed Proposition 2, an animal rights measure that limited the ways the state's farmers could confine pregnant pigs, veal calves, and egg-laying hens. Prop 2's requirements were vague and led to battles over interpretation and compliance with the law. For example, although the state's large egg industry has invested millions of dollars to change its operations, it has not gone completely cage-free. California egg farmers have also argued that Prop 2 put them at a competitive disadvantage with out-of-state producers, and they convinced the legislature to pass a law imposing California's standards on eggs sold in the state, regardless of origin, a move that several states have challenged as unconstitutional. Prop 12 would strengthen Prop 2 by phasing out all cages for egg-laying hens and establishing new specific minimum space requirements for breeding pigs and veal calves. Prop 12 would also require compliance by out-of-state producers who sell eggs, veal, or pork products in California. The legislative analyst estimates that Prop 12 would likely increase consumer costs as the farm industry adapts to new requirements. The measure would also increase the state's costs for enforcement by up to $10 million per year. Prop 12 is backed by the Humane Society of the United States, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, Animal Equality, and some other animal rights advocacy groups. They say the measure is needed to clarify and strengthen California's farm animal protections. Opponents include egg farmers, pork producers, and other industry groups. They argue that Prop 12's new restrictions would increase consumer prices and produce shortages. Prop 12 is also opposed by some animal rights organizations, including the Humane Farming Association and People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, which argue the measure doesn't go far enough in protecting animals. In summary, a yes vote on Prop 12 would require new minimum standards on farmers to provide more space for hens, breeding pigs, and veal calves, and would ban the sale of eggs, pork, or veal from animals housed in ways that did not meet these requirements. A no vote on Proposition 12 would maintain the current limits on confining these farm animals. For more information on Prop 12, visit roseinstitute.org and these other sites.